Lord, we want to see your power in the latter days. We yearn to touch your presence in that secret place. Outpouring of your spirit, empowering us to bring honor to your name. Lord, we want to see your power in the latter days. We yearn to touch your presence in that sacred place. A pouring of your spirit empowering us to bring honor to your name. ourselves to seek your face. Pour your spirit upon us again to revive our hearts aflame. stains from your temple. Its beauty will be fully restored to glorify your name. Okay.
Blessed be your name, O Lord, we thank you because truly in the latter days, the latter rain is former than, uh, is greater than the former rain. We thank you that in this uh, last days, Father God, specifically in this 2022, you're about to pour out your spirit upon all flesh so that people, your people, God's people will rise. God's people, especially the ship, will become a lion. Because 2022 is the year of restoring what the enemy had stolen from us, plus the interest. Father, I pray, move sovereignly into our hearts as we come to you in praise, as we come to you in worship. I pray, Father God, that you will continue to empower us, establish us in the Spirit. I pray, Lord God, that uh, we will be able to stand in your word, because your word is a strong foundation, unshakable ground. Heaven and earth will pass away, but your word will never pass away. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that our study today will give us clarity of direction. I pray, Father God, that uh, the study today will give us, Father God, a strong conviction that we need to hold on to your promises. We need to hold on to your word because your word is uh, able, capable, and dependable. Salamat po. I pray also those who are sick. I decree healing right now in the name of Jesus. We rebuke that uh, virus called Omicron. In the name of Jesus, we declare you powerless. In the name of Jesus, leave this nation, the Philippines, in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray, Father God, that the people of God will arise and will continue to advance the kingdom. And I pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus, empower us and continue to lead us deeper Okay, in your word, rooted in your word, and higher in our stature. We give you praise and we give you honor. And at this very moment, Lord, we ask and pray that uh, you will also provide for your people. Let the provision be released. If you are in need right now and you have something na hinihingi sa Panginoon, God is a generous God. Receive your portion, receive your provision in the name of Jesus. The peace, the joy, the strength. The breakthrough from God will be given to you in the name of Jesus. Pagpalain po tayong lahat ng Panginoon and God Holy Spirit, I pray that you will continue to enlarge the capacity of our spirit as we receive the now word today. I pray that it will uh, establish and empower our spirit so that we will, be able, we will become victorious on the battles waiting ahead of us. Father God, thank you because uh, 2022 is a very exciting year. It is a surprising year and it is an awesome year because we were going to see the greatness and the demonstration of God's power. But Father God, in the name of Jesus, prepare our hearts, prepare our lives, Lord God, that we will not just keep on claiming without doing your will, but I pray that we will going to do what we have heard. We will, re we will listen, meditate, and apply the word so that the word, the power of the word will be manifested over our lives. We thank you and we bless you from the beginning till the end of this study. Speak to us in a very powerful way. And this is our prayer in the powerful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen and amen. Palapakan po natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah. Again, first God, uh, praise the Lord, you know, at uh, Purihin ang Panginoon sa pagkakataong ito na pinagkalob sa atin sa linggo ho, pangalawang linggo ng uh, Enero ho ng 2022. So praise the Lord because we are starting strong and I strongly believe if we start strong, we shall finish strong. And praise God also for uh, giving us this powerful uh, tool and uh, none other than His Word. There is an abund abundance of God's Word in the School of Church Builder. And we thank God because of this. Uh, I know and I believe, I am persuaded and believe that uh, all of us are established. All of us are being uh, empowered by God's word that leads us to our victory because we will be facing challenges this year. But praise the Lord, you know, because God is so good, God is so faithful. Hindi ang Diyos pwedeng maunahan ng kalaban. Hindi siya pwedeng maunahan ng demonyo. Palagi ang Diyos na una. But the people of God should be sensitive, should be discerning in this crucial times, crucial season that we are facing right now. Praise the Lord, you know. At again, God bless you all. And uh, join me in our study. I entitled our study, you know, 
uh, first things first, the kingdom of God. So I hope and pray that God will give us, will give us enough time to discuss this powerful and uh, crucial and very vital uh, topic, you know, that we're going to, that will serve as our weapon as we face 2022. Ano ho? Magpapaalala lang po ako patuloy ho na atin pong ipagpanalangin ang ating mga buhay, ang ating mga kaibigan, ating mga kapam ating pamilya because uh, we are still facing ano, challenges uh, at this very moment, ano, uh, the, the world, ano, may, nakita natin, uh, they're facing all, all over the world, ano, are facing different nations, are facing challenges. So we need to be careful. We need to uh, take care of ourselves. And I know that the Lord is also protecting us, covering us. But it doesn't mean na pinaprotect ang kinocover tayo ng Diyos, we will expose ourselves. So kailangan, ho, uh, how God protected us, we should also tumbasan natin. Okay? Tumbasan din natin ang pagkuprotekta sa ating mga sarili. Puro yun ang Panginoon. So first things first, the kingdom of God. Okay? Uh, I strongly believe that 2022 is a surprising, exciting, okay, an awesome year for all of us. Because God is an increasing God, habang tumatagal ho, habang palapit ng palapit ang pagdating ng Panginoon, patindi rin ng patindi ang mga challenges, pero mas pabuhos ng pabuhos naman ang biyaya ng Panginoon para maka, hindi na tayo makakope up, kundi ma-overcome natin ang bawat challenges. So sabi ng Panginoon, in the last days I will pour out my spirit into all flesh. Okay? Your young men will see visions, your old Men will dream dreams. So these are promises of God okay, to His people. Again, God created us for a purpose. So dapat palagi natin yung tandaan. And everything that happens in our lives, God has a purpose behind it. Instead of asking Him, Lord, why? Ask God, Lord, what are your purposes or what is your purpose behind this? Para ho magiging ano tayo? Lalo tayong magiging sharp, lalo tayong magiging discerning, lalo tayong magiging sensitive sa leading ng Panginoon so that we will not or never compromise our faith. A good start, a good and a strong start will lead you to a good and strong finish. So when you speak about having a good and a strong start, isa lang ho, ang basihan, ito ay walang iba kundi ang salita ng Diyos. That is why uh, I see to it as a, as, as a pastor of Ambassadors for Christ Church International, I see to it that I have released the Bible reading for the whole year. Mayroon din pong Bible reading for the New Testament. And on, within 92 days, pwede na natin mabasa ang buong Testament, New Testament. The point is, uh, kung mayroon man tayong priority, ano, top priority this 2022 is to immerse ourselves in the Word of God. Wala hong pinakamahalaga sa lahat. Because in times of trouble, in times of testing, we can count on the Word of God. Because the Word of God will never pass away. Heaven and earth will pass away. Okay? Heaven and earth will pass away. But the Word of God will never pass away. Instead, it, shall, it will surely come to pass. Magaganap. Kung kayo ho ay matalas at kayo ho ay masugit na takapag-aral ng salita ng Diyos, makikita nyo, everything that had been written in the Bible are now being accomplished. It now, it's now uh, happening. Kung mapapansin nyo, that is why uh, we need to be sensitive, we need to be sharp. So if this, if that's the case, it is now happening, saan ang gagawin mo? You need to study, immerse yourself in the Word, and then look at the principles from God's Word at doon natin ibasa at ilakad ang ating mga buhay. So a good and a strong start will lead you to a good and a strong finish. God is the right starting point. If we start with Him, we will surely finish with Him victoriously. Mga kapatid, maaaring marami din tayo mga focus iba-ibang simbahan. Okay, iba-iba yung ating mga natatanggap. Okay, so sabihin na natin galing sa Panginoon. But, if you want to have a good start and a strong start so that you will finish a good and strong finish, you need to start with God. God is the right starting point. If your life ngayon, mga kapatid, ay hindi ho, kumbaga, hindi, uh, you know that there is lacking, may kulang. Okay? Because 
you've starting uh, you've started to a wrong starting point this 2022 do not allow the miss and hit okay uh, miss and hit na system na yun pa rin ang iyong gagawin kasi marami sa natin miss and hit or hit and miss ang ating sistema pag tamaan okay pag hindi tamaan eh, next time wala hong ganun pakasulat nyo ito 2022 is the year of being precise and accurate okay dito ho being precise being accurate this 2022 we cannot afford to hit and miss malina ho hindi po tayo trial and error ngayon we need to be precise we need to be accurate when we do something, we should know that it is always for the glory of God. When we do something, we should know that it will glorify God. Yan ho ang pagiging precise, yan ho ang pagiging accurate. That is the starting, the right starting point. If we start with Him, we will surely finish with Him victoriously. So malinaw ho ito, mga kapatid. Kasi may ba nagsimula sa sistema? Alam niyo ho, kahit gano'ng kaganda sistema mo, pag wala ang God factor, wala ang Diyos, wala ang mangyayari. King James Version, Romans 8, 31. When, what then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Malina ho? So if we start with God, then we are walking, operating with God. And if God is for us, who can be against us? Sa Tagalog, kung ang Diyos ay nasa panig natin, sino ang laban sa atin? 2022 has no guarantee of a smooth sailing year. Okay, wala hong garantiya sa mga propesya ho na aking pong pinag-aaralan for the year 2022. There is no such thing as guarantee na smooth sailing. Although the word, the prophetic word are very kumbaga encouraging, the prophetic word are very, you know, uh, very encouraging and damaging to the works of the enemy, but wala hong binigay na assurance na smooth sailing lahat. So what does it mean? Yes, this is the year of restoring what the devil had stolen, but I want you to understand the devil will not give it, will not give you an easy fight. That is why you need to increase in the word, you need to increase in the spirit in order for you to bind the strong man. Because the strong man is a spirit, then you should be strong or stronger than him in the spirit and in the word. So that you will be able to bind the strong man. And the moment you bind the strong man, then it will be easy for you to, to what? To plunder the enemy. Nagkakaanohan po tayo? And how to, how to become stronger than our enemy? We should start at the right starting point. And that right starting point is another than God. And if God is for us, who can be against us? Now this God, na ating pinag-uusapan ay napakatapat ang sabi sa Philippians 1.6 New Living Translation. And I am certain that God who began the good work within you. Okay? God had begun a good work within us will continue His work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. Watch me now. May ginawa na ang Diyos nung tinanggap natin ang Panginoon sa Kristo nung pinahayag sa atin ang Gospel of Salvation. Nung tinanggap natin ang Panginoon sa Kristo, may ginawa na ang Panginoon sa buhay natin. That is why nakakaranas tayo ng transformation, nakakaranas tayo ng mga different experiences, different dimension of experiences in the Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because God the moment we receive Him, He had begun that good work within us. Nagsimula ang mabuting gawain ng Diyos. And He will continue and will continue His work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. So if you feel that you are weak, if you feel that you are struggling, do not give up, do not give in. Just continue pursuing the Lord Jesus Christ. Why? Because He is at work. Pakasulat ko nito, God is at work in my life this 2022. Hindi yung hulang Diyos tinatapos, hindi pa ang Diyos tapos sa atin. Still, kinukonstruct pa tayo ng Panginoon. You know what I'm telling you. Well, you know what I'm saying. Because you know yourself. Lahat tayo naman under construction eh. Ang maganda lang, you receive the word of God that He began that good work within you because everything that God does is a good, God is a good God, he will do good works within us. May ginagawa ang Panginoon. He will continue to work until it is finally finished. Hindi yan Diyos nang iiwan. God will not live unfinished business. 
When God started something, He will surely finish it. Ganon din ang ginagawa sa atin. Maybe you're listening to me right now, you are not having a good condition. You are not in a good condition. Maybe your situation are not good. Eh, ganon talaga eh. But this 2022, let us make this unfavorable situation, unfavorable circumstances, circumstances unfavorable situations. Gawin natin hagdanan papunta sa breakthrough natin. God will never allow temptations or trials to come our way without a purpose. If you are experiencing fiery trials, it is not to crush you or to destroy you. It is to build you and to purify you until one day you will be refined as pure as gold. Then God will can use you to become a vessel of honor. Nagkaunawan po tayo. Hindi yung madali pag dumadaan ka sa fiery trials. I remember there's a one uh, story. Mayroong mga Bible school student, nag-aaral sila, at napunta yung kanilang pag-aaral sa Malachi chapter 2, Refiner's Fire. So sabi ng kanilang professor, gumawa kayo ng teaching or uh, thesis patungkol dyan sa Refiner's Fire, and then uh, gawa ninyo na mabuti at yun ang inyong magiging exam at yun ang aking gagraduhan. So, mayroon yung mga husay ho na isudyante. Grupo sila, pumunta sila doon sa isang silversmith. Okay, yung gumagawa ho ng uh, silver. Okay, yung uh, pilak. Gumagawa ho siya ng mga, mga jar, uh, pilak. At uh, mayroon silang inobserbahan. Yung silversmith, yung gumagawa ho ng uh, mga jar, ng pilak, Ano yung punas sa pilak? Ang tagal. Kanina pa pinupunasan. So, hindi na sila makatiis. Tinanong nila, Sir, hanggang kailan niyo yung pupunasan at hanggang kailan kayo titigil? Napaka-precise at accurate yung sagot ng silversmith. Anong sabi niya? Hanggat hindi ko makikita ang sarili ko sa kanya o dito sa jar na ginagawa ko. Hindi ko tigilan ang pagpupunas sa kanya. Oh, hallelujah. Refining as one of the greatest tool that God used to refine His people because He wants to see His image in us is none other than fiery trials. Blessings will not manifest Christ's likeness in us. You know what I'm saying. Christ's likeness will uh, Christ's likeness will not be manifested through blessings, because most of the time when a person is being blessed by the Lord, the quality and the intensity of his relationship with God lumalab now. Bakit? Because of the comfort that the blessings brought him. But the moment ang dumating sa atin trials, fiery trials, we learn how to set aside and forget the desires of the flesh. Because the trials that we are going through are beyond our capacity. What happened? We call upon the name of the Lord. We build a strong intimacy with Him. Nagkano-ano tayo? Kaya nga ho, as you grow and mature in your, in your relationship with God, you will now begin to understand that yung mga bagay na pilit natin iniiwasan noon, sila pala ay mga kapaki-pakinabang ngayon. Pagsubok, pilit natin iniiwasan. Pag mayroong pagsubok, agad-agad pinagtipray natin, alisin. John 17.15 Ang aking panalangin, Ama, wag mo silang alisin sa mundong ito. Bagko sila yung samahan at protektahan laban sa masama. Even the Lord Jesus Christ prayed. John 16.33, In this world you will have trouble. But be a good cheer, I have overcome the world. In this world, pinangako niya, we will have trouble. Just like this. We thought that everything is fine already. We thought that COVID-19 is done. But there is there another variant that spread all over the world called Omicron. And as I pray to God, Lord, itong Omicron na ito, nananalasa na naman. Hindi rin siya ganun kabigat, pero di katulad ng COVID-19, pero ng Delta variant, but still Delta variant is still existing or exists. 
Pero makita natin, ang bilis daw ng pagawa nito. Pero the point is, I just asked the Lord, Lord, what is the word for me this, about this Omicron? The Lord simply impressed on my heart, impressed on my spirit. I, that is Omicron, that virus is called Omicron, I am Omega. God is the Alpha and the Omega. Omicron lang yan. Delta lang yan. God is the Alpha and the Omega. Glory to God. The beginning and the end. That is why we need to learn how to start with God. So that the power, so that the favor of God, the empowerment of God will be upon us. Who can be against us? And then the Lord will continue His work. Mga kapatid, hindi pa tapos ang Diyos sa atin. Tatapusin niya ang kanyang sinimulan. Umayaw ka man o hindi, tatapusin ng Diyos ang kanyang sinimulan. Yan po ang katotohanan. Maliban na lang talaga na itakwil mo ang Diyos, wala na siya magawa. Pero hanggat kumapit ka lang, pag hindi mo kaya, kumapit ka lang sa Diyos, kahit makabitaw ka, kakapitan ka ng Diyos. Ganun siya katindi. Bakit? Nagsimula na siya magtrabaho sa iyo at hindi siya nang iiwan ng trabaho. Pag sinimulan niya ang buhay ng isang tao na babaguhin, pag sinimulan niya ang pagpalain ng buhay ng isang tao by hook or by crook, lumaban man ang buong impyerno, hindi niya pababayaan yung kanyang ginagawa. Bakit? Walang ginagawa ang Diyos na hindi niya tinatapos. And God will surely finish the good things that He had started over your life. Amen? Palakpakan natin si Lord. Glory to God. He will continue to work on it until it is finally finished. On the day when Christ Jesus returns. Babalik ang Panginoon. Hanggat hindi pa babalik ang Panginoon, patuloy na nagkatrabaho ang Diyos. That is why God is sending you preachers. He's sending you His servants to open your spirit, to open your eyes, or the eyes of your understanding. God is a specialist of new beginnings. Maybe 2021, we have You know, we've started poor or we finished poor. But forget it. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. God is a specialist of new beginnings. Okay? Mayroon bagong sisimulan ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Kaya palagi ko sinasabi, a brand new year, a brand new day, and a brand new life, and a brand new experience experiences with God. Let us start with Him because God is the right starting point. You want new beginnings? Alam nyo, sino ba ang ayaw ng bagong simula? Ang kagandahan ngayong umaga, maliwanag pa sa sikat ng araw, God is a specialist of new beginnings. I remember that one lady, you know, nung kami magministeryo ho sa isang rehabilitation center. Talaga nakatulala lang siya. Grabe yung mga nangyayari sa kanya. There are unfavorable situation. Siya ay tinakwil na kanyang mga magulang. Pagdating doon sa rehab, may nangyari pa sa kanyang hindi magandang kaganapan. Anong ministry ko kami, talagang nakatulala. And then I came up with this uh, illustration. Yung bang the manufacturer and the product. Ang nagamit ko ay sasakyan. Ilagay yung pangalan ng manufacturer, ano? At pag yung sasakyan ay masira, kaya siyang i-repair ng manufacturer. Why? Because the manufacturer is able and have all the parts of that vehicle. So ang sabi ko, even if your life is totally wrecked, God is able to restore your life and bring it once again to its original form. Since that day, that woman, okay, had na open yung kanyang understanding, na open yung kanyang spirit, and then she began to worship God, and now, glory to God, she is now conducting a, uh, a uh, group, conducting a group and a program called the uh, Celebrate Recovery Program. And he, she and her mother, are, both of them, na dating hindi magkasundo, ay magkasundong magkasundo at active na gumagawa at tumutulong sa mga taong mayroon ding problema pagdating sa sarili. Nakita nyo, kung titignan mo ang kanyang buhay, hopeless. Kung titignan mo yung kanyang buhay, parang wala ng pag-asa, nakatulala na lang. But when the Word of God came to him, came to her, nakakita niya that God is a specialist of new beginnings. Pag sinasabing specialista, yun ang kanyang forte. Pag sinasabing specialista, kahit na walang 
yung iba walang na makita ang pag-asa. Pag sinasabing espesyalista, sila ay palaging mayroong sagot sa bawat katanungan. Ganun din lalo na ang Diyos. Kung inaayawan ka na ng mga tao, inaayawan mo na mismo sarili mo. Don't give up on yourself. Why? Because God is a specialist of new beginnings. God is able to use you. God is able to empower <coughs> Excuse me. God is able to empower you. God is able to use you mightily and powerfully. Minsan no, tayo mismo ang naglilimita sa ating sarili. I want you to understand. Do not put limitations on yourself because if you give up on yourself, God has never given up on you. He will continue to fight for you. He will continue to finish what had started in you. Just believe that He is a specialist of new beginnings. 2022 is the best uh, January, you know, it's the best month to start 2022 with, uh, you know, strong and good so that we will finish good and strong also. Mga kapatid, don't give up on yourself because God never give up on you. Okay, starting 2022, God, with God, is simply securing the God factor over our lives. Pag magsimula po tayo sa Diyos, hindi sa tao, hindi sa organisasyon, hindi ko sa sanman, grupo, kundi sa Diyos, you are simply securing God factor over your life. Ano ibig sabihin ng God factor? When I meditated what God factor is all about, God revealed this meaning to me. God factor simply means, God has a free hand and permission to intervene in all the affairs of your life. Hallelujah. Bakit permission ang ginamit mo? Why? Because God respect the free will and the freedom to choose ng isang tao. Kaya nga, pati yung salvation, ano sinasabi niya? For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whosoever believes in Him, should not perish, but have everlasting life. Whosoever. Ano yung ibig sabihin? It is, God wants you to choose Him using your free will. When Adam and Eve committed sin at the garden, nung sinasabi ng Panginoon, pwede yung kainin lahat ng bunga sa alamanan, maliban sa bunga ng puno na nandyan sa kalagitnaan, the, the fruit between good and evil, uh, no, the knowledge between good and evil, the moment you eat from it, you will surely die. No, sila ba'y kumuha? Sinaway ba sila ng Diyos? Hindi. Because God had given us the free will, God had given us the freedom to choose, pero ang sabi na po si Pablo, use your freedom, use your free will to glorify God. That is why God factor simply means God has a free hand. Malayang malaya ang Diyos, may permission ang Diyos to intervene in all the affairs of your life. Mga kapatid, kung magsimula tayo sa Diyos, what comes next? He will going to intervene. At hindi mo maiwasan ano, na tayo po'y magkakaroon ng mga maling desisyon. Wala namang natapos sa taon, tama lahat ang desisyon natin. Yung iba nga, starting pa lang taon, sablay na kagad desisyon natin. Pero ito ang pangako ng Panginoon, napakaganda. No? Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He shall direct your paths. Nakita niyo? Pag nagtitiwala tayo sa Diyos ng buong puso, hindi tayo nanahan sa sarili nating karunungan at sa lahat ng ating gagawin, ito ho ang pinaka-crucial. Nilagyan ko ng kulay pula yan. In all your ways, not in some your ways, not in the few of your ways, but in all your ways, acknowledge Him. Acknowledge Him as what? As your King. Do not make decisions on your own. Problema sa atin, we make plans on our own and then pag sumabit, saka tayo tatawag sa Panginoon. That is unfair. Di ba meron tayong ganyan? We plan, and then nagpa-plano tayo, pagkatapos ang plano tayo, ano nangyayari? Pag nagplano tayo, ang nangyayari ngayon, pinapaprobahan natin sa Diyos. Pag naaprobahan na, akala natin, naaprobahan na Diyos ang ganun-ganun. Most of the time, our plans are go, go against the plans of God. So it is very important na maintindihan natin, mga kapatid, Acknowledging God in everything we do. Why? Because God knows and we know that we only possess limited ano, limited knowledge, limited yung ating wisdom, limited yung ating abilities. But if we connect with God, we acknowledge God in everything we do, in all our ways, what comes next? Then He shall direct our paths. 
Alam niyo itong binasa ko, yung He shall direct our paths. Pwedeng mali ang desisyon mo. Pero bago ka makarating sa maling desisyon mo at bago magbunga yung maling desisyon mo, i-divert ng Diyos. Bakit? Because you acknowledge Him in all your ways. The Lord will divert. Magkakaroon ng diversion sa plano mo. Bakit? Para sa halip na mauwi doon sa kapahamakan, sa halip na mauwi doon sa kabiguan, mauuwi ka sa katagumpayan. Amen? Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Glory to God. Oh, hallelujah. Ganito ka crucial ang 2022, mga kapatid. We need to learn how to trust in the Lord with all our hearts. Pag sinasabing trust in God with all our hearts, we never doubt His ways. We never doubt. We never have a doubt to His word. We completely, totally, undisputedly believe in the word of God. What the word of God is saying to us, it is final. No ifs, no buts, that is final. And you lean not on your own understanding. Mahalaga ho sa 2022, tanggapin na natin. We do not possess or we do not have the monopoly of wisdom. We need to understand that that our wisdom is limited. God's wisdom is limitless. Our understanding is limited. God's understanding is limitless. Our knowledge is limited. God's knowledge is limitless. We need to tap to His knowledge, wisdom, and understanding so that kapusin man ang ating pagkaunawa, kapusin man ang ating karunungan, kapusin man ang ating kaalaman, we know that God will extend, okay? God will intervene in all the affairs of our lives. That is securing God factor. In all your ways, never make any decision without consulting God. And if you want to hear the voice of God, if you want to hear what God is saying about your petition, then ask the carrier of your grace. Now you understand how important the carrier of your grace in the church is your pastor. To the pastors, it is your spiritual mentor, your spiritual father. Ganun ka importante yan. Alam niyo bakit? Because God will speak most of the time to the life of the carrier of your grace, to the life of your pastor. That is why the devil is so tricky. He is contaminating the minds of the people. Pinapasama yung pastor sa kanilang kaisipan. And that is demonic. Once na yung carrier ng grace mo, you begin to dishonor him, to disrespect him, you are already, you fall already in the trap of the devil. Why? Because the Lord will speak most of the time. Di ko sasabing all the time, most of the time. Okay, siguro 95%, 97%, most of the time. Because your pastor serves as God's, he is God's representative. He is God's ambassador over your life. Okay? So, napakataas ng porsyento na mangungusap ang Diyos madalas sa pamamagitan ng pastor mo. That is why the devil is so tricky. Kinukontaminate yung utak ng mga tao, ng mga miyembro, para mag, hindi magtiwala sa pastor, magtiwala sa sarili, kundi magtiwala din sa ibang kapwa niya rin na wala rin sa hulog ang buhay. Ano nangyayari? Hindi ngayon nakukuha yung leading ng Panginoon. Kahit mag-pray ka pa, kahit nagluluhod ka pa at umiyak ka pa, pag hindi yan, okay, hindi yan sinamahan ng Diyos at hindi ka ng Panginoon. Hindi mo ina-acknowledge yung authority na binibigay ng Diyos at magkasabing covering mo, all your efforts, all your labor are tantamount to failure. God cannot direct your ways. Watch me now. But if you secure God's favor, You secure God's fa- God factor. What happened? God will intervene. Ulitin ko. Hindi tayo perfect, magkakamali tayo. Pero bago pa ma-execute yung mali nating desisyon, God will divert. God will intervene. And He will divert our decision. Magugulat tayo. Mayroong mga pangyayari na hindi natin inaasahan. Di ba? Mayroong mga ganon. I remembered yung uh, 911 bombing sa Amerika. Di ba? Sa Twin Tower. Mayroong isang nagkwento yung taxi driver na nasakyan niya, ang bagal magpatakbo. Sobrang bagal magpatakbo. Galit na galit na siya. Bakit? Kasi kailangan niya makarating doon sa Twin Tower kasi meron siyang mahalagang transaksyon. Nagkanawan tayo. Pero nagtataka siya, bakit napakabagal magpatakbo tong driver niya? To make the long story short, na late siya. Galit na galit siya. Pero nung pagdating niya, na habang nasa daan pa, nabalitaan niya, sumabog at napulbos yung Twin Tower. Todong pasalamat niya doon sa driver. 
Bakit? Sa sobrang bagal. Watch me now. There seems a way that right to amend. This 2022. There seems a way that right to amend. But at the end, destruction. That is why mahalaga, pinapaunawa sa atin ng Diyos, you need to acknowledge Him in all your ways. So that, you are giving Him a free hand and permission to do an intervention in all the affairs of your life. Because the moment you make a wrong decision, God will intervene and divert. We will create a diversion so that instead of going to the pit of failure, to the pit of defeat, He will go in and create a diversion road towards victory. Di ba napakaganda, no? Palakpakan na po natin ang Panginoon. Alam nyo, ako po ay uh, talagang humahanga sa Diyos, sa God Holy Spirit, by revealing these things to us. Ano pa? Sabihin na natin, walang perfect sa mundo nito. We will experience uh, hardships, we will experience challenges. Kala natin na fourth quarter, eh, okay na ho. Labasan na yung mga tao, only to find out, sumipa yung Omicron. May mga pasaway pa. Eh, we, we cannot avoid this. At sasabihin siguro natin, bakit naman ganito? Hanggang kailan to? Well, to the people who started with God this year, to the people who do not try, who trust in the Lord with all their heart, people who do not lean on their own understanding, but in all their ways, they acknowledge God and God will direct their thoughts what comes next. And we know that in all things, Romans 8.28, New International Version, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him who have been called according to His purpose. Hallelujah. Even though situations are unfavorable, but because, of, because God is so powerful, we know, mahal na gahit yung word na to. Sa ibang transition kasi, and God work, and in all things, God will, will work for the good. Pero dito ho, and we know, mahal na gahit yan, yun yung pina, yun, dadawang salita na yan, those two words, we know. You should know. I should know. That in all things, sa lahat ng bagay, favorable or not, big or small, Good or bad, in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Minsan, di ba, pag unfavorable ang situation, alimbawa, may magkasakit sa pamilya, anong, anong, ano mo, iniisip mo, hindi ka komportable, tama? At yung yung hindi pagiging komportable, nagdadala sa iyo sa paglapit sa Diyos. Bakit? Kailangan mo lumapit sa Panginoon. Bakit? You need healing. You need divine intervention. You need divine healing. Ngayon, pag hindi ka marunong tumingin, anong isipin mo? Naglilingkod naman ako sa Panginoon. Bakit ito nang nangyayari? Mayroong iba, pakalat-kalat dyan. Hindi nga nabubuhay ng tama. Bakit hindi ito naman? Hindi ko ganun yun. When God deals with us, He wants us to respond right and yield to His dealings. Watch me now. Pag dinidil tayo ng Diyos, rumisponde ho tayo ng tama. At tayo po'y makiayon, sumunod sa kanyang dealings sa atin. Yan ang sabi ng aking mentor. Every time God deals with you and bring you to a situation that is unfavorable to you, respond right. Because God is refining your faith. God wants to promote you in the Spirit God wants to promote you in the another dimension, dimension towards your maturity. Binabantayan niya ngayon yung responde. Alam niyo, malalaman mong isang tao pag mature doon hindi. Saan? Pag siya ay nasalang sa hindi, komportabling kalalagayan. At malalaman mo kung mature doon hindi sa pamamagitan ng kanyang reaction, sa kanyang response. Malinaw? I remembered nung kami nila pa si Rilbert, Kasama ko yung mga senior citizen, mga senior na rin. Nung kami po ay pauwi, galing Bicol, umobertake ko kami sa isang dump truck. Ang ginawa naman nung dump truck, umobertake naman sa kasunod. So ano nangyari? Napunta na ho kami sa, panga, sa kaliwang lane. Na kung may nakasalubong kami, talagang tiyak, madidisgrasya kami. At never nag-apologize yung dump truck, yung driver ng dump truck. Talagang pati ako, nakita ko, akala ko matured ako, di ko mapigilan talaga magalit. Bakit? Pwede kami mamatay. Pero tinignan ko yung mga sila, Pastor Wilbert, 
yung tatlong dalawang mga senior citizen, wala man lang career reaction. I see. Sabi ko, I see. Nakita niyo mo? Pag nalagay ang isang tao sa isang unfavorable situations, hindi niya gusto, uncomfortable situation, ibig ng Diyos, ipromote ka sa maturity dimension mo. At pag mayroong ganyan, balikan mo salita ng Diyos. And we know that in all things, God works for the good. Ano man, gaano man ka hindi favorable yan, gaano man ka uncomfortable yan, one thing is for sure, and it is already written in the Word, God will work that unfavorable situation, uncomfortable situation for your good. And true enough, true enough, marami yung mga lingkod ng Diyos na karating sa tagumpay sa kanilang paglilingkod. Pero kung babalikan mo yung proseso ng kanilang tagumpay, doon mo makikita. It is not an easy road, but worth it na kanilang nilakaran. Ganun din tayo. Hindi komportable, hindi maayos, hindi maganda. Nahihirapan tayo, but worth it to fight, worth it to stand, to take our stand and to fight for God and to tell God, Lord, I will still serve you. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. The world forsake me, still I will follow. No turning back, no turning back. Kung mayroon mang worth it na paglilingkod, ito'y walang iba kundi paglilingkod sa Diyos at pagsunod sa Diyos. Because we know that in all things, God works for the good. Kanino? To those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Mga kapatid, this 2022, napaka-exciting ho. Napaka-exciting, hindi dahil sa magaganda lahat ang mangyayari. Napaka-exciting. Sapagkat sa maganda man o hindi ang pangyayari, makikita natin ang pag-unat ng kamay ng Diyos na buhay, ang pagkilos ng kanyang makapangyarihang kamay, at makikita natin ito ng ating dalawang mata. Kitang-kita at habang nakikita natin, mas lalo natin naunawaan, ang Diyos na aking pinagbaling ko ay buhay, 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 kailan paman. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoong Glory to God. God is in full control. Watch me now. When Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego knew that Nebuchadnezzar put up a 75 feet statue at ang sabi niya, pagtunog ng mga instrumento, lahat yuyoko at sasamba. The three of them knew that the true and living God is none other than the God of Israel, not the statue of ni Bukadnezar. Kaya pag tunog ng trompeta, may binantayan sila ng mga kalaban nila. Hindi sila lumuhod. Sinumbong sila. Watch me now. Nung sinumbong sila kay ni Bukadnezar, because ni Bukadnezar also received favor from their wisdom, kinausap pa sila. Di sila kagad tinapon. Bakit di kayo muko? Ano mangyayari? Bakit di kayo muko? Sabi nila, hindi kami sasamba dahil alam namin ang Diyos sa aming sinasamba. Ang, sa inis ni Bukad ni Saron ang ginawa, pinainit ang pitong, pitong ulit. Seven times. Yung pugon. At habang pinapainit, sina-challenge siya yung tatlo. Sasamba kayo hindi. Ano sa kot nila? Iligtas man kami ng Diyos na aming pinaggaling ko at kinikilala. Iligtas man kami o hindi. Hindi pa rin kami sasamba. To make the living story short, watch me now. God did not intervene for them not to be thrown to the fiery furnace. Malina ba? Kasi kung tayo yun, ang gusto natin, ay huwag talaga matapon, mamamatay pag matapon dyan. Pero sila, hindi mag-isip eh. He allowed Mishak, Shadrach, and Abednego. Who are these, who are these uh, people? They are faithful to God. Who are these people? They are consecrated to God. Who are these people? Worshiping of the true and living God. So it is not a guarantee that if you are accurate, You are a true worshiper of God. You are a lover of God and His Word. You are a true, talagang markado ka na sumasamba sa Diyos. Everything will be good and fine sa buhay mo. Because nakita ko kung sino yung mga markado at talagang totoo, sigurado, 
na naglilingkod sa Diyos, tama ang buhay, accurate, precise maglingkod, sila pa ang nakakaranas ng mga unfavorable situation. Again, isulat ninyo kung gusto nyo. God allow unfavorable, uncomfortable situation na maranasan ng isang tunay na lingkod ng Diyos. And the purpose of God is not to break His servant but to build and refine him for a noble task prepared for him. Promotion ho sa mga tunay na lingkod ng Diyos ang mga unfavorable situations, uncomfortable circumstances. Malina na? So if you are experiencing now unfavorable situation, uncomfortable situations, Always bear in mind, my promotion is on its way. Hallelujah. Promotion yan. Papunta na, parating ng promotion. But, you need to understand, watch me now, sulat nito, we need to learn how to respond right. Instead of asking Lord why, ask God, what do you want me to do? And what is your purpose behind this? What, what are your requirements so that I can comply Respond right and yield to His dealings. Pag nangyari yan, hallelujah. Abraham was a very concrete example. He waited for Isaac for 25 years. He received the promise from God that he will have a child at the age of 75. And Isaac came at the age of 100. And then, ang sabi ng mga Bible scholars, mga 13 to 15 years old na si Isaac, Hiningi ng Diyos si Isaac kay Abraham. Ano ba yun? Ihandog bilang sunugin. Handog na susunugin. It is very uncomfortable. Unfavorable. Pero si told si Abraham eh. Kung makikita niyo sa Hebrews 11, 7 to 9, naniniwala si Abraham kahit naging abo si Isaac, kaya sang ibalik ng Diyos. Ganun, katindi kanyang pala ng palatay. That is why God called him the father of faith. Watch me now! Uncomfortable? Uncomfortable. Ang sabi sa entrada sa Genesis 22, Offer offer me, Isaac, your one and only son, whom you loved. Kita niyo, mas gusto kasi ng Diyos subukan yung mga tunay. Eh. Kasi alam niya, pag sinubukan yung mga tunay, magbibigay sa kanya ng karangalan, ang kanilang responde. Magbibigay sa kanya ng kaluwalatian yung kanilang reaksyon. Kaya magtataka siguro kayo kung sino pa yung mga tapat, sino pa yung mga totoo, sino pa yung mga consecrated. Yun ang maraming pagsubok. Why? Because God is in a hurry for them to be promoted. Promotion ho ang habol ng Diyos, hindi ho distraction. Ulitin ko ha, hindi distraction, kundi promotion. Lift up your hands, Father, in the name of Jesus. I know somebody or many who are listening to me right now, sila ang kinakausap mo, Lord. Alam ko, Lord, kinakausap mo sila. I pray in the name of Jesus that there, some of them complain, some of them question, but Lord, some of them also are asking, give me, the, uh, give me an answer, clarity to my, to my questions. And Lord, thank you because ito yung sagot mo sa Kanya. Kapatid, God, does not intend, it's not his, it is not his intention to break you. It is not his intention to destroy you. His intent is to promote you for you to reach your God-given destiny, for you to move to the next level. Because on every level, there is a devil. But the moment you move to the next level, and you keep on moving, you keep on responding right, and you keep on yielding to the dealings of God, one day, you will move to the next level without devils. In the name of Jesus, receive your portion. The answers of God is very clear to you. You are the man, you are the woman. And God, and always believe and receive promotion. Your promotion is on its way. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Palapakan natin si Lord. Glory to God. We know that in all things, God works for the good. Of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose, this 2022, let's, let's not major on minors, but rather let's major 
on essentials. What are the minor things? The things of the world. The cares of the world. These are minor things. Let's major on essentials. What are the essentials? Number one, the things of God. Things in the Spirit. Ito yun. Abang kayo nakikinig sa akin ngayon. You are learning. Learnings that the world cannot give. These are the kind of learnings that only God, Holy Spirit, is able to provide it for you. What else? Living in the will of God. Matthew 7, 21 to 23. Huwag natin, huwag tayong assuming. Huwag natin i-assume that we are fine, we are okay. Ang sabi ng Panginoon, sa huling araw, maraming tatawag sa akin, Panginoon, Panginoon. Pero sabi ng Panginoon, sino lang makapasok sa kalangitan, yun lang gumagawa ng aking kalooban. At sa araw na yun, maraming magsabi, nagpalayas kami sa iyong pangalan, nangaral kami sa iyong pangalan, gumawa kami ng himala. At ako na may sasagot sa kanila, lumayas ko sa harap ako, di ko'y kilala, mapagawa ng masama. Watch me now. Let us focus on the essentials. Major on the essentials. Living in the center of God's will. Because the safest place for a believer on earth is to live in the center of the will of God. Kung kayo pinagkatrabaho, during sa inyong pagkatrabaho, may nangyari sa inyo, or mayroong halimbawa, sabihin na natin, aksidente kayo, sagot kayo ng kumpanya, bakit? Kayo po ay naksidente sa pagkatrabaho eh. At hindi pa payo ang kumpanya na mapahiyang kanilang pangalan. Gagawin, sasagutin nila lahat, bakit? Kaya ka, nang, kaya ka na disgrace na aksidente dahil sa pagkatrabaho mo in fulfilling the interest of the company. Watch me now. If we are working with God, we start with God, we do the will of God, we do the works of God, we advance the kingdom of God, impossible yun, naiiwanan tayo ng Diyos. Lalo na ginagawa natin kanyang kalooban, walang iwanan, walang laglagan. Gagawa ang Diyos ang paraan, impossible sa tingin mo, gagawin niyang posible. Bakit? Hindi lang mapahiya yung kanyang pangalan. It's not about us, but it's about His name. Di ba yung car manufacturer? Di ba yung mga car manufacturer, remember? Meron sila mga nirelease ng mga mga tawag dyan, yung kanilang mga sasakyan, only to find out, nagkakaproblema, mechanical error, ano nga gawin nila? I-re-recall. Tama? Lahat ng model ganito, 19 ganito, ito yung uh, year na model sila, pwede niya yung ibalik kung saan ninyo binili at papalitan namin ng bago. Walang bayad. Bakit? Lugi sila, Pastor. Eh, sobrang lugi. Ba't wala sila doon sa kalugyan? Ang sa kanila, importante sa kanila, yung kanilang pangalan. Kasi kung isang item lang or isang machine lang, isang sasakyan lang, yung mayroong problema, pag hindi nila yun makuha at marikol at palitan ng bago na walang bayad, alam mangyayari, lahat ng kanilang mga tinitindang sasakyan, isa lang ang sumabit, pero dahil hindi nila inayos ang integrity ng kanilang pangalan. Ano mangyayari? Lahat na ng kanila, pag sinasamin brand ng ganito, huwag kang bumili dyan. Bakit? May problema yan. That is why they're willing to pay the price. Kahit na sila ho ay magkaroon ng maraming losses, okay lang, just to protect their name. Watch me now. Kung yung car manufacturer pinaprotektahan ang kanilang pangalan, how much more ang pangalan ng Panginoong Heso Kristo? If you are doing the will of God, you are living in the center of God's will, That powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ will protect you. That powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ will provide for you. That powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ will preserve your life. That powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ will cover you against all the works of the enemy. Why? Because you are doing and living according to His will. Amen? Palapakan natin si Lord. Glory to God. Alam niyo mga kapatid, napakaganda yung pag-aaral natin. Finish the work of God. Ang problema sa maraming tao, kahit mananampalataya, dito na, na ano na rin eh, na-divert na yung focus sa mundo. Don't you know, the one who saves us is, is a spirit God. John 4, 22-24, God is a spirit. And those who love Him, and those who worship Him, must worship God in spirit and in truth. Watch me now. Spiritual who? Spirit who ay nag-save sa atin. Diyos is spirit who? So, ano yung expect mo sa Kanya? Bagay sa mundo? Hindi. Ang Kanyang ibibigay sa iyo, spiritual things, spiritual, spiritual things, spiritual principles, spiritual dimensions na ibibigay niya sa iyo, will enable you to accumulate wealth, will enable you to become prosperous and successful on earth. Baliktad. 
Inuuna yung mga non-essentials, mga bagay sa libutan at ginagawang alalay ang Diyos. Gusto ko to, Lord, bigay mo sa akin. Hindi ganun. Unahin mo ang Diyos at ang Diyos, hindi mo na kailangan hingan. Alam niyo na kung anong kailangan mo at alam niyo na kung dapat ibigay sa iyo. At pag ang Diyos nagbigay, hindi ipipitsugin, palaging the best. Do you understand it now? Just finish the work of God. Nagita na ba kayo ng ganyan? Taong pinagpatrabaho mo? Meron kang pinagpatrabaho sa kanya? At sabihin, sabihin mo sa kanya, sabihin mo sa kanya, tumbong araw, tatapusin mo ha, and then papasuldohin kita. Tapos na, tapos yung bumaghapon, na hindi na simulan yung pinagawa mo, and then pumila doon sa payroll at gusto kumuha ng sweldo, pasuldohin mo kaya? Hindi. Gets yun ha? If you are not doing the works of God, you are not living according to the will of God, do not expect blessings. Ito problema sa marami. Hindi na nga nabubuhay sa, sa sentro ng kalooban ng Diyos, hindi pa gumagawa sa Diyos, blessings pang hinihingi. Sermon siguro, pwede. Bibigay sa'yo ng Diyos. Si sermonan ka. Pag hindi ka makuha sa sermon, lahat latigong kasunod. Mga kapatid, <laughs> understand how heavens operate. How the God of heavens operate. Pag hindi ho natin ito maintindihan, walang may establish sa buhay natin at maraming mananampalataya sa halip na makatawid na, makakross over na para mag-take over sa promised land, naroon pa rin sa wilderness magpahanga ngayon. Bakit? My people perish because of lack of knowledge. Ang kakulangan ng kaalaman at kaunawaan, nagpapadelay at lalo tigit sa lahat, pag hindi mo na makuntain, mag-a-abort ng iyong destiny. I pray in the name of Jesus, your destiny in God will not be aborted because of being, of having lack of knowledge. That is why God sent me to you today. God sent me to you to share with you what God wants you to do. What else? What are the essentials? Dwelling in God's holy presence. Psalms 27 verse 4. Sino nagsabi nito si David? One thing I ask of the Lord, this one thing do I seek. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord. Nagets niyo? Sino ito si David? Hari. Sino ito si David? Makapangyarihan. Sa kanyang bansa. Sino ito si David? Mayaman. Sino ito si David? Halos wala nang kailangan. Itsura, napakagwapo. Wala nang kailangan. Bilang tao. Pero alam mo ginawa niya? Sa halip na mag-accumulate na kung ano-ano sa mundo, sabi niya, kahit na meron na ako, halos lahat. Isa lang ang hinihingi ko sa Diyos, ang manahan sa kanyang templo, sa kanyang presensya, upang mamasda na kanyang kagandahan at siya mapurit sa masamba. Oh, hallelujah. Para praising ho. Nag-gets niyo ho? Even the wealthiest men, one of the wealthiest men, David, hindi masatisfy ng wealth yung longing niya sa Diyos. Sana ganun tayo lahat. Major on essentials. Dwelling in God's holy presence. Bakit sa, bakit sa holy presence ni Lord? Watch me now. Look at me straight in the eye. Bakit sa holy presence? Bakit ito yung pinaka-essential? Because in the presence of God, the devil is off limit. The devil is not welcome in God's holy presence. Kung mayroon mang pinaka-ayaw ni Satanas, panahanan, ito walang iba kundi ang presensya ng Diyos. That is why the devil is doing his very best to remove yung iba nga nasa presensya na nahatak pa ni Satanas palabas eh gamit yung kanilang laman. Naintindihan nyo? God wants to remove people, the servants of God, the people of God, out to move out from God's presence. Why? Because pag naroon sa presensya ng Diyos ang isang mananampalataya, walang magawa si Satanas, hindi siya pwedeng bumulong, hindi siya pwedeng manggulo. Bakit? Off limit siya napakalaking kasalanan at violation sa Diyos pag nandun siya sa presensya ng Diyos. Bakit? Dahil simula ng pinalayas ni Lord, ni Father God, si Lucifer, sa presensya na sa, sa langit, na sa langit pa, simula ng pinalayas, never na siya nakapag-appear sa harapan ng Diyos na buhay. That is why of limit si Satanas pagdating sa presensya ng Diyos. At ito ang essential 
Kaya ang ginagawa ni Satanas, binubulag ang maraming mananampalataya gamit ang mga bagay sa libutan para ano? Para wag silang magkaroon ng panahon o pagkakataon na matutong magmanahan sa presensya ng Diyos. Dahil sa presensya ng Diyos, may kagalakan, may katagumpayan, may kagalingan. Lahat ng kailangan ng isang tao, naroon lahat sa presensya ng Diyos. Kaya pilit na tinukuha sila ng Diablo at binubulag gamit ang mga bagay sa mundo. Ngayong 2022, gising! This is the time to wake up. Dwell in God's holy presence and forsake all the things of this world. Why? Kasi ang produkto ng pananahan sa presensya ng Diyos ay mga bagay kayamanan sa mundong ito. At pag ito binigay na sa iyo, hindi mo gagamitin para sa laman mo. Hindi mo gagamitin para sa sarili mo. Gagamitin mo sa pag-advance ng kaharian ng Diyos para ang lahat ng tao sa libutan ito ay mapagharian ng Diyos na buhay. People who do not understand the essentials they will settle on the minors. That is why many believers, they major on minors instead of majoring or major on essentials. What are the essentials? Ito, maganda pag-usapan. What are the essentials? Number one, know who sits on the throne. Mahalaga ito. God is in charge and in control. Dapat alam natin sino ba nakaupo sa trono. May Omicron, may COVID-19, marami pa mga threat, mayroong gera. Andiyan na yan sa Matthew 24. Eh. Pag nasulat sa Bible, hindi na, po, hindi na yan pwedeng i-edit, hindi na pwedeng i-revise, hindi na pwedeng i-alter. Final yun. Now, watch me now. God sent me to you today. Listen carefully. What are the essentials? No who sits on the throne. Because the one who sits on the throne, he is king. And the one who sits on the throne, the king, is the one in control. Not just in control, but in charge. He allow things to happen to bring the people of the world to repentance. But for his accurate children, sons and daughters, they will be placed and they will be shielded by God. Sa panahon ng Israelita, kahit naroon sila sa Egypto, sila ay pinrotektahan ng Diyos sa isang lugar na tinatawag na Goshen. Habang pinapaulan niya mga salot sa buong Egypto, wala ni isang salot na naligaw sa Goshen. I strongly believe and I prophesy in the name of Jesus, the same will happen to us in 2022. The place where you are located, the place where you stay, will become a place of Goshen. Na walang maligaw ni isang gawa ng kaaway. Walang maligaw din na parusa na galing sa Diyos. Sa iyong bahay, maging sa iyong buhay. Bakit? Because your place is called Goshen. And one day, from Goshen, we will migrate to Zion. And Zion is a strong fortress. Zion is the place of the living God. Zion is the mountain of the living God. Zion is the highest state of the church, the maturity state of the church. Mga kapatid, Know who sits on the throne. Because the moment that tinala mo kung sino nakaupo sa trono, the one who sits on the throne is none other than our heavenly God, our heavenly Father. The King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is not just a King of kings and the Lord of lords. He is also our heavenly Father. Therefore, anumang dumating Omicron man o anumang variant yan, anumang mangyari sa libutan, you know, na ang hari na siyang may control at in charge ng buong sanlibutan ang siyang nag-iingat gumagabay at nagpapala sa atin that is essential my friend know who sits on the throne God is in charge God is in control and He is our heavenly Father I am a father of two sons I did my best for them to be protected, provided, to be preserved, to be covered, everything I do for them. At dahil ako'y tao, mayroong kakapusan, gaano mang kaganda ang aking plano para sa kanila, kinakapuso ako. Pero bilang tao, nalimitado, maganda ang plano, how much more ang Diyos na nasa langit, nakaupo sa kanyang banal na trono, at ang sabi ng Bible, and He shall reign forever and ever. Amen. Anong ibig sabihin? 
Hindi kailangan hindi kailanman mapalitan ang nakaupo sa trono. Ang Diyos na nakaupo sa trono na siya nating ama ay hindi mapalitan. Siya ay magkahari, magpakailanman. Sa anong ibig sabihin? Magpakailanman. Tayo ay pinagpala, highly favored, super blessed, breakthrough upon breakthrough ang mararanasan natin this 2022. Why? Because the one who sits on the throne, the one who is in control, the one who is in charge, is for us. And if He is for us, no one can be against us. Hallelujah! Glory to God. Number two, what are the essentials? Know your position in Christ. Alamin mo, position mo kay Christo. Romans 8, 37. We are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. Ano tayo? More than conqueror. Alam niyo, pag naglalaban, parehong conqueror, isa sa kanila pwede matalo. Pero the title per se, the title itself is very clear. We are more than conquerors. Pag sinasabing more than conquerors, unbeatable, undefeated, immovable, untouchable, unshakable. Whew! Hallelujah! Ito tayo. Ito ang ating posisyon. Mabuhay tayo ayon sa posisyon natin. Ano pa? Sino pa tayo? Tayo'y mga anak ng hari. Therefore, mga prinsipet, mga prinsesa, kung mayroon mang iniingatan sa loob ng palasyo, una ang hari, pangalawa ang mga prinsipet, prinsesa. Bakit? Kasi sila ay kadugo, sila ay kabilang, sila ay related sa king. Ganito tayo, prinsesa at prinsipe tayo ng Diyos dito sa lupa. Tayo'y mga anak ng Diyos na buhay, ng hari na mga hari, na nakaupot, maghahari, magpakailaman. Tell me now, who will stop us? No one and nobody can stop us. We're undefeated, we're immovable, we're untouchable, and we're unshakable. This is our, this is our position. Live, know it, and live according to it. Conduct your life according to it. Pag pumitik ang prinsipe, may nangyayari. Pag pumitik ang prinsesa, may nangyayari. Malinaw. Ganun din. Pag may sinabi tayo, base sa posisyon natin kay Kristo, in the, in the heavenly realms, we, was, we are seated with Christ. In the highest place, commanding the enemy, commanding the devil. Whew, hallelujah. Know your position in Christ. Know and live your position in Christ. Don't just know it. Live according to it. Principe ka, princessa. At ang hari na nakaupo sa trono, hindi mapapalitan. Therefore, Ito ang mga katotohanan na hindi nalalaman ng marami. Kaya marami sa alit na mag-asal prinsip at saka prinsip sa nag-asal pulubi. Nag-asal na alipin. At yan ang gusto ng demonyo. Kasi mga alipin, madali niyang bully-bullyin. Pero mga prinsip at prinsesa, never niya mabuli. Kasi pag pitik ng kanilang kamay, may aaresto sa kanya at may gugulpi sa kanya. Hallelujah! Glory to God. We are undefeated, immovable, untouchable, unshakable. Well provided, well protected, well preserved, taken care, cared of by the angels of heaven. Because the Father God, who is the King of kings and the Lord of lords, is none other than our Father. Hallelujah! Number three, live according to the plans and purposes of God over your life. Jeremiah 1.5, Jeremiah 29.11 Bago pa tayo panganak, may, pang, mayroon ng plano ang Diyos sa buhay natin. But sad to say, because we were created in the likeness and image of God, we do our own plans. And then we ask God to approve it. Alam mo ba kapatid, bago ka pa'y panganak, yung plano ng Diyos, nakabaon na sa buhay mo. Ang gagawin mo na lang, discover it. Watch me now. The, God is the manufacturer. We are, the, we are His product. Everything about the product, the manufacturer knows. Agree? Everything about you, God knows. Jeremiah 1.5 says, Before you were born, I knew you. In the womb of your mother, I knew you. I already knew you. Ano pa? I set you apart. I appointed you to become a prophet to the nations. You have, you are, God knows us. Pangalawa, He set us apart. Kung saan ka nakalagay ngayon, diyan ka naroon sinet apart. For what purpose? You have an appointment. I appointed you to become a prophet to the nation. For Jeremiah, but for us, may appointment ka na sa Diyos. 
The problem is that hindi mo inalam yung plans at purposes ng Diyos. You create your own. And that leads many people to destruction. Do not create your own plans and purposes. Just discover. Anong gagawin ko, Pastor? In time I with God, magbabad ka sa presensya ng Diyos. At anong sunod mong gagawin? Get the blueprint from the master planner. Because the master planner is so generous. Hindi niya ipagkakait sa iyo yung blueprint ng buhay mo, ng plano niya at purpose sa buhay mo. Gusto niya maganap. Bakit kagalakan ng isang tatay na magtagumpay ang kanyang anak? Amen. No mag-graduate yung dalawang anak ko, magalak na galak ako. Bakit? Natutuwa ako na tagumpay sila. How much more our Father God in heaven? Hindi niya ipagkakait sa iyo, kapatid. Yung plano niya, yung purpose niya sa buhay mo, gusto niya matupad yun. Pero do you have the time to have an intent Do you have the time to immerse yourself in the Word? Do you have the time to pray? Do you have the time to listen to His voice? That's the question. Handang-handaan ko si bigay ang blueprint sa iyo. Ang problema sa atin, tamad tayo, di natin nakuha yung blueprint, gumawa din sabi natin yung blueprint. At yung ginawa natin, pinapaprobahan natin sa Diyos, hindi natin approve it. Mapapansin niyo, pag ikaw lang gumawa ng plano, madalas palpak. Pero pag ang plano nakuha mo galing sa Diyos, at yun ang nilakaran mo, kahit na illogical pa sa tingin ng mga tao, basta galing sa Diyos, God can make a way when there seems to be no way. And He will work in ways we cannot see. He will surely make a way for us. Ganun ang plano ng Diyos. Malinaw. Stop creating your own plan this 2022. Get the blueprint from the master planner. At hindi niya ipagkakait yun. Kasi gustong gusto niya magtagumpay tayong lahat sa taong ito. Last but not the least, access the grace of God in the life of your grace carrier. John 1.14 And the word became flesh and live among us. We have seen His glory. Full of truth and grace. Ang punong-puno ng grasya. Hindi yung ibang tao kundi si Kristo. Ephesians 3.2, sabi ni Pablo sa mga hintil, For you have heard the administration of God's grace that was given to me for you. The one who is full of grace is the Lord Jesus Christ. But where is Jesus now? Where is the Lord Jesus Christ now? Ascended into heaven, seated at the right hand of God. Where did He deposit the grace or God's grace that you need for you to overcome? In the life of your pastor or your spiritual father. Kaya mahalaga mayroon ka talagang spiritual father, mayroon kang kinikilalang authority, nagpapastor sa'yo, na siyang magiging dispenser ng God's grace sa buhay mo. Please, sa huling pagkakataon na, sana huli na to. Okay? Never go against to the carrier, never go against the carrier of your grace. Because the moment you go against the carrier of your grace, you sentence yourself and you position yourself towards failure. One way of becoming successful this 2022 is to access God's grace because God's grace is God's power and ability working in you for you to become what God wants you to be. It is God's power and ability working through you for you to do what God wants you to do. Now tell me, without the grace of God, all your effort are tantamount to fail or to failure. Access the grace of God because Psalm 77 verse 20, you lead your people like a flock of sheep, like a flock on the road with Moses and Aaron as, the, as their shepherd. The Lord will shepherd you through a human shepherd. Sa Tagalog, maganda pagkasabi, pinapangunahan mong iyong bayan na parang kawan. Gamit si Moses at si Aaron bilang iyong mga kamay. Your pastor serves as God's hands over your life to form Christ He is your makeup artist to prepare you for that great, powerful wedding, wedding day where you will going to meet the Savior, your groom, the Lord Jesus Christ. Mga kapatid, dito muna tayo titigil at marami pa tayong pag-uusapan sa mga susunod. But please, do not major on minors. The things of this world, the system of this world, kinahuhumalingan ng mundo, minor lang yan sa mata ng Diyos but rather major on essentials. Let us start strong. Let us start, start right so that we will finish right and we will finish strong this 2022. We love you in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. I pray that your table will never run out of food. 
This 2022, there will be abundant food in your table so that you will be a channel of blessing to others. And I pray that the Lord will open lots of opportunities for you to increase in your finances, to increase in every aspect of your life, spiritually, emotionally, physically, materially, and financially, so that you will be a channel of blessings, reaching others, and extending, dispensing the grace and the power of God and the blessings of God to them. In the name of Jesus Christ, this is what I decree in the Spirit, and it will surely come to pass. In Jesus' powerful name, Amen and Amen. Shalom!